Hey guys, it's Tara. I am going to bring you a quick bow spring practice. Hopefully, last time I just tried to do this and it froze, so wish me luck. Um, if you're seeing this, I guess it's okay. Um, and maybe it's like for a day where you're just kind of feeling like you want to move and you want to be productive, but maybe weird shit's happening, like things are freezing or, um, yeah, you never know. Um, also I just ate a ton of food, so I feel like the, um, but movement is always my friend when that happens. So yeah, I'm going to just kind of guide you through what I would do when I feel this way in my body. <laughs> so, uh, let's get moving. Make your way to your mat. And I think we're going to start standing. Just go ahead and close the eyes and find some organic movement. Allow the ribs to really move freely. Finding a nice circle, a sway. Just kind of closing the eyes and feeling free to explore what that is for you. Finding center, go ahead and extend the arms forward, push them forward. So if you had a measuring tape from the back of the shoulder blades to the knuckle, make it longer. Push the arms forward even more. And then bend the knees, set the hips back, lengthen the belly, press the arms down to rise up. Find a couple pulses here. And then exhale, sit back, rise the arms up, stretch through the right side, through the left side. Breathe, soften the breath. Bring the hands into pull-up bar and then next to the head or on either side of the head, press the head back and then lift the back of the neck up so there's not a compression in the back of the neck, but instead a length. The elbows draw forward and down as the shoulders press wide and just again, find any kind of organic movement that you're feeling here. Soften the breath. And exhale, sit back, arc up and over to the right. Press the elbows wide energetically, the shoulders wide, lifting up. Keep the right hand exactly where it is. Bring the left hand to the right ribs and lift the flesh at least an inch up. Pull the head away from the shoulders. Lengthen the neck on both sides. Lengthen the low back. If you're feeling strong, maybe hover the left heel. If you're feeling like you want to stay right where you are, stay. If you'd like, shift your way more to the right and begin to bicycle the left leg. The more you arc up and over, the more of a balance it becomes. Press the knees wide as if you had a rubber band around the legs. And then exhale, float the left toes back down. Find a sway, leave the arms as they are. And hopefully as the right ribs open, you can feel like the fingers spreading, the ribs spreading. And then as you arc back to the right, don't let the, um, them close and collapse. So just keeping your awareness on your ribs as you sway, as you move. Extend your way or bring your way back to center and then reach the left arm forward. Push it forward, lengthen from the knuckle to the back of the ribs. Step the feet wider than your mat, head presses back. Find some wide pulses here, sit back and rise up. Exhale, sit back, inhale, rise. Keep the head pressing back into the hand as the left fingertips float down. Bring the right hand to the right glute and lift up as you twist to the right. Knees forward, hips back, lift the right glute up, lengthen the right side of the neck. Bring the right hand down in front of the left, gently walk your way forward. 
Bring the hands as wide as the mat. Step your feet to your mat. Pedal out the knees. Dip the left knee down and extend the right side of the body. And then dip the left knee down and extend the left side of the body. Sorry, right knee, left side. <laughs> left knee, right side. I might have mixed that up earlier. I don't know. But anyway, however you are, <laughs> find opening in the side body as you pivot the knees. Begin to lift the back of the head up. Push the floor away and allow the ribs to rise up. Bring the feet at least hip width apart, if not a little wider. The hands are wider than shoulder length apart, touching the edges of the mat. Find a pulse forward and back. Press the big toe down, extend the head forward, lengthening through the entire central channel from the bottom of the hips to the top of the head. Exhale, sit back, twist the knees to the right, press the knees forward and wide. Widen the back of the, the hips, widen the shoulders, twisted cat to the right. Option to pick up right leg and find a gentle bicycle here. Allow the ribs to rise, widen the shoulders, lengthen the neck. Breathe. Attempt to keep the left shoulder from collapsing in towards the spine. Exhale, right foot's gonna land behind you off of your mat, back cat, right hand to the left side of the neck. Lift the neck up, lengthen the right side body. Press into the feet, reach the hips back and almost allow the ribs to rise up, the right side of the neck to rise up as the head arcs down. Right fingertips return. Right foot comes underneath and through, back towards the left side, revolve cat. Hips sit low, extend the left arm over towards the right side of the mat, keep it low. Press into the feet, reach the hips back. Exhale, left hand comes down. We're gonna come down to the right hip. Yeah, dome the left hand, allow the left side of the neck to lengthen, press into your left foot and lengthen the belly. Exhale, sit back, inhale, expand. Bring the right heel closer to the butt. Press down into the feet. And then bring the left hand to the left toes. Sit your way up a little bit more and instead of collapsing down, press down to rise up. Press down into the right outer foot, right outer hip, and then we'll just do some extensions. Inhale, expand, exhaling in. Inhale, expand, exhale in. On this next one, option to hold and float. Hand can come to the crown of the head on the right side. And I like to add like a little twist. I don't know why, it's fun. <laughs> Feels free. The right hand can come back to your mat, slide all the way down to your elbow, lift instead of collapsing down into the right side. Lift the left side up and lengthen the left side of the neck. Press the hips back and let the belly bow forward. Bring the right hand in front of the elbow. Push the floor away, slide the left, or release the left foot and bring it behind the right. Let the left hand come to the back of the head, open the throat here. Press into your feet and lengthen the belly. You might hang out here. You might be great here. If you want more, make sure the right shoulder is supported and lifted up away from the floor instead of sinking down into that left shoulder. Lift up. Tuck the right toe if you'd like and find a little miniature opening on this left side, little pulse. Exhale, bring the left hip back down. Bring your left hand to your mat. Right hand comes to your mat and lift your way back to your feet. Pedal out the knees, the hips. Step the right foot off of your mat. Bend the left knee forward and pick it up out to the side. 
So not up towards the back, out to the side. Left foot comes down, pick up right, out to the side, open. Right foot comes down, switch it out. And opposite side. Bring both feet down wider than your mat. Let the knees be bent, the hips be bent, and the belly stays super long as you walk your hands back. Bring one hand at a time to the knees. Pause. Let the head drop and let the ribs rise. Let the throat and the belly open without closing the back of the ribs. Press the knees forward and wide to activate the glutes. Push the arms forward. Make it longer from the knuckle to the back of the ribs. Find a pulse. Press down, rise up. Bring the hands into pull-up bar. And then sweep them to the back of the head. Lift the head away from the shoulders. Sit back and rise. Breathe. Can you make more space between each and every vertebrae? On your next one, step one foot at a time to your space. Find some organic movement, whatever that looks like for you. All right, find center. Press the big toe down, knees forward, hips back, and then sit back to rise up. On your next one, sit back, arc up and over to the left. Bring the right hand to the left ribs and lift them up. Lift a few inches upward. Squish the flesh. <laughs> Pull it away from the hips. Lengthen the low back. Same with the left hand. Pull the head away from the shoulders. Lengthen here. Option to stay. Option to hover the right heel. Dig, drag, right foot, and then press the, <laughs> press the right leg out to the right and find a gentle bicycle. And you'll know right away if you're not active. I had like a little wobble there because I wasn't. I wasn't active, I wasn't strong. Yeah, cool. Breathe. Set the right foot down. Keep the hands as they are and find a sway with the ribs. As the left ribs open, feel the ribs expand, almost like your fingers expanding. And then as the ribs sway back to the right, try not to collapse them fully. We wanna keep a lift, a decompression as we move. Feet are wider than the mat. Bend the knees, push the hips back behind you. Right fingertips touch down as the head stays lifting upward. And then bring the left hand to the left glute, lift up, twist to the left, lengthen the belly, lengthen the left side of the neck, find a pulse in the legs. Walk the left hand in front of the right, right hand in front of the left, and then let the hands be equal step your feet to your mat. Find this time a wave. So press the feet back and then let the spine roll. Untuck the head. Keep the belly long and the hips lifted as you make your way back. And then roll your way forward. Once more like that. Push the floor away. Expand the ribs up. Lift the hips, the heart, and the head. Swivel the knees to the left without collapsing the ribs. Press the knees so much forward, the hips so much back that you have no choice but to dome the left hand. Right here towards the right shoulder. If you had your hands on your ribs, could you lift them up higher? You're welcome to place them there. We just didn't on the other side. So yeah, you'll be asymmetrical, but you totally could. Option to bring the left leg to a gentle bicycle here. Maybe float the left arm forward and long. If 
with each and every pulse, find new space, new strength. Left foot will land behind you, so light. Back cat, hips sit low. Left hand into neck hook here, onto the right side of the neck. Press the head back, open the throat, open the belly. Find a pulse. Last one, left fingertips touch, left foot's going to come up around and underneath and through, revolve cat. Exhale, sit back, sweep the right arm long and low, almost over towards the left side of the mat. Press the hips back, lengthen the belly. Exhale, right hand comes down, and we're going to let the left hip come all the way down to your mat. Hips press back, allow the belly to bow forward. Bring the left heel back towards the left, or towards the right glute. Seated side twist, and then walk your hands in a little bit. Bring your right hand to your right foot. Let the belly bow forward. There should be a little crevice in the low back instead of flattening and rounding here. Let there be a curve. Press into your right hand. Lift your foot up, keeping that crevice in the low back, and then extend. Exhale, bend. Press into your left foot, lift up higher. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Last one like that option to continue with that actually or bring the left hand to the crown of the head press down into the left hip and then float twist left hand comes down gently release the right foot oh no sorry sorry my bad <laughs> grab the right foot again Cool, lift it back up, my bad, forgot. All right, left hand floats down, make your way down to your elbow. The elbow is gonna land in front of the shoulder, not directly underneath it, so that we can have more support. Bring a soft fist to the left hand or a seed hand, lifting the wrist, lift the ribs, and the right side of the neck, press down to rise up. Instead of collapsing down into this left side, lift away from the mat, lift away from the floor. And now release the right foot. Bring it back behind you. Support the head with the right hand. You can either come into headrest or neck hook again, whichever feels best. Press into the feet, lengthen the belly, reach the hips back behind you. Option to stay here or tuck the left toe under and then find a gentle pulse here. Allow the ribs to rise, the head can arc down. Pulsing, expanding. This time, match the right hand to the left, bringing your way to both elbows, right foot comes down. Coming to your feet, find a gentle pulse forward and back, press the elbows wide, expand the back of the ribs. Knees press forward and wide. Can you bring your knees down without collapsing the ribs? Untuck the toes, keep the ankles flexed. Slide the hips back to lift your elbows. Press the outer seat hand down, the knuckles down. Elbows push wide, pull the hands back towards the knees and tone through the belly. Tone into the glutes. Lift your gaze past your hands. Tone into the back of the neck even. Bring the hands wide, tuck the toes, twist the knees back to the left and bring the right hip down. Slide the left hand in and extend the right hand towards the left front corner of your mat. 
Stacking the knees, lie onto your left side. Take a moment, pick up the hips and slide them back behind you a little bit. So you're lengthening out of the low belly. Pull or bring the left elbow all the way to the ground and then pull the elbows towards the knees to lengthen the belly even more. Flex the ankles. Imagine an imaginary floor underneath the feet. Press into that and see if you can find even more length, more space. Like a snail growing out of its shell. Lengthen the right side. And then bring the left hand to the left knee. Lengthen the left side as well. You can lift the foot up. You can lift the head up. Little miniature pulses. Think about lengthening the body. Sweep the left hand to the back of the head. Now press the head back and really focus on like all of this amazing length we can find within the body. Option, bring the right hand to the right side of the head. Widen the elbows, the shoulders, lengthen the neck. Let the head drop back, arms rise up. Shimmy your way over to the left side. Extend the left arm, roll all the way to your left side. Pick up the hips, slide them maybe even a foot back behind you, really, really far back. Even pick up the shoulder, readjust the ribs now. Stacking the knees, bring the right elbow all the way down and then pull the elbows and knees towards each other, lengthen out of the belly. Maybe even physically move the left shoulder farther away, grow an inch. Flex the ankles, press into an imaginary floor underneath your feet and lengthen even more. How tall, how long can you actually get? Bring the right hand to the right knee, press them into each other, hovering the right leg a few inches off of the left. Now even hover the head, lengthen from the crown to the tailbone, the entire central channel. And sweep the right hand to the back of the head, press the head back, little bicycle. Left side presses down as the right side lifts up. Option to bring the left hand to the left side of the head. Widen the shoulders, lengthen the neck, open the throat. 